Hi, Tootsie Carlson here, and I'm always adding to my 4K ultra high def movie collection. So whenever I get a chance to add a movie to my collection, I'll certainly take it, even if it's something I've never seen before and I'm just curious. A few weeks ago, I was over at Zia Records and I actually saw this, which I'd never watched before, but was certainly curious based on what I've heard and seen. The movie I'm talking about today is The Lover. This is based on a novel by Marguerite Duras. Hope I'm pronouncing that name right. I'm going to unbox this release, share my opinion, and let you know what I think. Here's the front cover with the uh, sides of the backing card there. There's the spine. Here's the back of the backing card. I take off the backing card. Here's what we've got on the cover. Back has the two main characters. We open this up. In the front cover here, we have our ultra high def disc. And if you pull this off of here, this is actually very nice. It's the same artwork underneath, so the disc doesn't really obstruct anything in the image. So you put that back and that just blends in seamlessly. I, I really like how they did that. We come to the back cover and here we have our Blu-ray copy of the film. Same deal here with the Blu-ray. We pull that off and it's just, it's the same art underneath. So when we put that back, it's not intrusive in any way. In the middle here, we actually have a book that's built in, so there's some interesting words to be had here. Nice essays, nice photographs from production. And you can't really tell from here, but this actually feels almost like a book cover, like a cardboard book cover. That doesn't really translate too well to this video, but that's very nice. I'm going to read the description of the film as follows from the backing card. The adaptation of Marguerite de Ross's best-selling autobiographical novel of the same name. Colonial French Indochina, late 1920s. A 15-year-old French girl returns to Saigon, where she attends a girls' boarding school. On her way there, she meets a handsome, wealthy, and much older Chinese man from a respectable family. Going against the conventions of their respective societies, the lustful pair begin a passionate affair. Their strong attraction toward one another is only intensified by the illicit nature of their rendezvous. An emotional and erotic romantic drama by French master director Jean-Jacques Anode in the name of The Rose, Seven Years in Tibet. The Lover was originally released in 1992. The movie was critically acclaimed internationally, although American critics reviewed it a little more harshly. It's not really clear if that's because that's truly how they felt about the film or if it's because of the taboo subject matter. I had never even heard of this movie prior to picking it up, but watching it was a very interesting experience to say the least. There are definitely you know, taboo elements in this film, and I certainly don't believe it would fly in today's politically correct society. The plot, of course, revolves around an affair between a 15-year-old French girl and a... Chinese man in his early 30s. So you can kind of see where I'm going there. This sounds like it could very well be the plot of a softcore porn movie, but I am happy to report that this movie never feels trashy or like that at all. It's a beautifully made, well-produced film shot in some very exotic locations. I do like it when they always go to extra effort to make movies look like they were a labor of love and they truly mattered. The fact that the author actually live this story to some extent makes it feel all the more authentic. Now, I will say this. I'm not familiar with any of the people who actually participated in this movie. Yeah, I, but I am happy to say everyone here actually plays their roles very well, looks the part, and pulls it off well. I won't deny there are a few scenes where the acting is maybe a little wooden. But overall, I think it's a pretty well-developed film and Certainly an interesting character study. There are a few themes, subplots, and so forth I would have liked to see and explored a little more, but overall, I have to say I'm very happy with The Lover. I think it's a well-made film, and again, despite its taboo nature, it's a beautiful, well-made, erotic, sensual movie. Again, I hadn't heard of this movie prior to picking this release up, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect for picture quality. I'm happy to say this is a gorgeous looking disc. Clearly this has been restored or given some sort of remastering treatment because the package looks very good. Picture quality has nice deep dark black levels and 
Of course, the colors are pretty vibrant. A lot of the movie has a bit of a sepia tone look to it, but I would say that what we see here is very true to the original intended source photography. A few scenes look a little inconsistent compared to the rest of the movie, but overall, I think it's a very good-looking disc, and I don't think anyone who's a fan is going to be disappointed in what they see here. We also get a few supplements in here as well, including a nearly hour-long making-of documentary, some picture galleries from the movie, an interview with the author from the film, some unreleased scenes, and two trailers from the film as well. So it is good to see that they went all out on this, and you actually get the bonus features right on the 4K disc. You also get them on the Blu-ray disc as well, although the Blu-ray, I guess, is nice if you're future-proofing your collection and don't have a 4K player yet, but the 4K is leaps and bounds above the Blu-ray version in terms of picture quality, largely due to that extra boost that you get from the HDR. And this release does have both HDR 10 Plus and Dolby Vision. Very rare you find a disc that actually has both of those on there. So I have to say, this is definitely a movie worth checking out if you're curious. This is the full-length uncut version, not one of the earlier cut-down versions, so that's good to know. And again, this movie's not going to be for everyone on account of its subject matter, but I think if you are a fan of you know erotic stories like this, it is a well-made film, and I'm glad to add this one to my collection. What do you think of The Lover? Do you think this is a great movie? Do you think it's something you'd rather not have seen? Are you planning on picking up this 4K release, or have you already? Comment down below, and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to this channel for more content. I'm always posting new videos, and be sure to give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. I'll see you next time.